Welcome back to Celebrity Scene News right here on Ed Magic TV. We are here at the Beverly Hills Film Festival at the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Today we'll talk to actors and what they've got to say about what they would do if they could change the world and make things better and what's happening in their career. Check it out. It's simple to see it's Ed Magic TV so the world can believe it's Ed Magic TV. First of all, it's a pleasure for you to be here at the Beverly Hills Film Festival on Black Tulip. Uh, I, I like things and messages that are very important. Now, as a director, uh, tell us the difficulty in shooting the movie. It was hell on earth. Mm -hmm. It's really hard to make a movie anywhere in the world and come back on time and on schedule. Mm -hmm. But to make it in a country that is under the bombs and under attack of the Taliban is exceptionally difficult. That's why in 50 years no movie has ever been made in Afghanistan. <laughs> um, very difficult. Um, As opposed to other films that perhaps you've been involved in, was this the most difficult? I think it, it is, it will be. For the rest of my life I will never do anything like this ever again. Nobody will. It's, uh, to shoot a movie in the middle of war and do it against the enemy, the Taliban, it's uh, very, very difficult. We certainly have a lot of difficulties in the world with, with cultures and hatred and embedded thoughts that people can't seem to move forward in their life. But if people would use that golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do unto you, it would be so much better. What would you do if you had the power to make things better in this universe? Peace. Find peace. Uh, to find peace, you have to be educated. One of the things that is lacking uh, in this world, in these third world countries especially, and even with our soldiers that are going to Afghanistan is lack of, lack of education. They don't know the culture, they don't know the people, and so the Afghans are not educated enough to know what's right from wrong and who is your friend and who is your enemy. Education is one of the things I fight for every single day of my life. That's what I would do. I would educate the world. <laughs> Very good point. As we leave on the broadcast, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that movies are always going to be here. People need to go to movies to forget about their problems. We have enough problems in the world. But what are some of the projects that you've pr you directed before that we might be able to look at that, that you're proud of? Uh, a documentary called The Breadwinner, which is a story of a, a seven-year-old boy who supports uh, six family members by selling newspapers and calendars as a day in his life. That's very inspiring to me, to see what a child does in Afghanistan and what a child, compared to a child in the Western world, how much responsibility is on his shoulders. Film, I think, is an incredible medium, as you mentioned, because it's the only medium that you can be in a dark room for that long, for two hours, without anybody talking with anybody, without phones or anything, without interruptions. So yes, it's for entertainment, yet you can entertain people and, and open a window to a world that they've never seen before. Those are the kind of movies I want to make. To, to show people something that they never thought about or a world they never seen before. You're a very strong lady and I say to myself, the obstacles that you've had to overcome, what was the power in you that allowed you to overcome those obstacles? Faith in God. There is, a, if you believe, we're all here for a reason. If you know what your reason is in this world and you believe in that and you have faith in you, there's a force that comes and joins you and makes the most incredible things happen. With that thought right here on Celebrity Scene News on Ed Magic TV, I'm Pete Allman and this is Sonia Cook. And we tell you to keep your visions positive. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.